Okay, quick intro, because I've left it quite late in the day to come out. Um, had some stuff on this morning, and the heat is unbearable. Um, luckily, the sky's hazed over a bit, so we haven't got the direct sunlight con to contend with. We've got some stubble to go on, so I'm going to get on that and see if I can pull anything out of it. I do like this field, mind. It has thrown some good stuff up for me in the past. I've had um, several hammered coins, several Romans, um, medie medieval artifacts coming out my ears from this field, but you never know, it's the luck of the turn of the plough, isn't it? Um, the silver item that I had on my last hunt Turned out to be quite interested indeed. Um, after hours of searching for the maker's mark, a friend put me onto a, another useful website. I was looking in the wrong place. The uh, the maker's mark actually comes from Massachusetts in America. Uh, can't get a, a, a proper date off it. Um, I'll throw little bits of information up around the sides for you. Uh, but it was part of a um, bib clip set. So there would have been one of those clips on either end of a piece of chain. So posh people could use a napkin as a bib. So interesting stuff. Anyway, stop gibbering nonsense and get out there. See you shortly, I hope. Okay, first recordable signal up. I bet you can't guess what it is. Go on. Go on, I dare you. Guess. Oh, pewter button. Had to be, didn't it? Oh, this stubble is a nightmare. Looks like they lit the uh, YTS boy did it. Do it. It's uh, all over the place. Right, let's crack on. See if we can find anything worth finding. See you shortly. I've got no idea what this is. It's just popped out of the clod. A feeling it might be a. Sorry, getting used to this new harness. Feeling it's some sort of button or mount. No idea. Uh, I'll get a quick brush off, see if there's any details on it and get back to you. Big old chunk though. Right, yeah, so no details on it. Looks like it was enameled at some point, black. I don't know. Sorry, getting used. To, I can't get used to this harness. I've had to put it the other way up, so my camera lens is at the wrong end now. But yeah, I'm going to go with a mount, probably off a horse harness. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, the field's taking the mick out of me now. Walking up here, I said, "Can't feel. Give me a break." So it did. Look at that brake lever off a motorbike. Ay, ay, ay. Don't have to be so literal, metal detecting gods. Come on. On we go. Okay, apologies for traffic noise, quite close to the road. Uh, next one up, I've ended up back on this grass field again. Uh, everywhere else is just the stubble's just too much and the ground's too hard. Um, yeah, first one up on this field that's not aluminium another heart stopper gold gilded navel button you can just about hold on a sec just about make out the anchor and the crown there never mind finding the military buttons or the naval buttons but uh, yeah nice happy with that on we go and Little pistol shot. Lovely. Always nice to see. Old one as well, look how white that's gone. Right, on we go. Apologies again for traffic noise, but just a little, well, a fairly big button. Can't see anything on it, but uh, 
definitely silvered on one side which got me going for a minute right if I do end up finding anything on that I will let you know on we go To another button uh, something in there I can't see quite what um, the back's still on it which is where the iffy bit of the signal came from I almost didn't bother with it uh, you see there the iron all rotting through from the back oh, might, might get something on clean up can't quite make it out now anyway let's get going and yet another rather uninteresting sizable button definitely a day for buttons today is this good content? I don't know right surely I've got there's got to be something interesting here today on we go running out of light and proof once again just how good this uh, legend is around iron absolutely loads and loads of dropped them all into my bag now so they're down at the bottom but absolutely loads of little tiny um almost like panel tacks rusted away have come out of this hole and right at the bottom of it under all those i said there must have been about 10 of those tack nails on the way down to that look at that that is an absolute stunner silvered not silver but silvered as far as I can tell yeah because it's uh, it's got green on the back I don't know if you can make it out in this light because we're losing the Sun now it's, it's vanishing fast but look at that absolute beauty made up with that for today you know me by now, I love a buckle. Absolutely pleased as punch for that. That's going to clean up beautifully. Whee! That's made my day now. The little things please me. On we go. And, shame it's not a hole, but the... Uh, bottom part of one of the, like, teardrop keyhole covers it's a shame I don't know maybe a bit of work with a Dremel I can turn that into something anyway let's crack on I'm trying to make the most of this last dregs of sunlight we've got left see you shortly uh, okay so I'm walking across the field to get to a, a different part of the field and this is under the trees where I normally take my break and it's where the big iron patch is that I was working through with the legend when I first got it and it was doing extremely well and I can't believe when people say fields are done to death they're, they're talking absolute rubbish because I've been over this area since May a couple of dozen times um, I thought this was going to be another spectacle buckle to start with when I saw that bit but it's a Jews harp or Jaws harp depending on which school of thinking you are it's a bit mangled admittedly but yeah and not very deep either really we only talking sort of three maybe four inches down there a nice little surprise really it's only the second one I've ever found mind you I haven't been detecting that long really anyway I'm working my way around the back of this tree line uh, across the back bit of the field and back towards the car because as you can probably tell it's nearing darkness now although I don't mind it it's not very handy for finding things on we go right so I stopped on my way home just to do this uh, little conclusion for you yeah wasn't the most prolific of days was it um, 
Lovely evening though. It's just starting to cool down now. You can't really tell because my camera's actually quite good in low light, but it's it's almost dark now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, legend absolutely proving itself again today with the with the iron and the well really dry conditions we've got right now. Um, we've for those that don't live in this country. Uh, we've just had drought declared, hose pipe bands go in, um, we haven't had any rain for, well, a couple of months since we had proper rain. We had a, a little bit of drizzle now and again, but not enough to make any difference. Anyway, um, that said, they have promised us some rain. Um, so I'm going to be out again in the week, hopefully do a bit better, hopefully a few of the fields will be rolled down. I should note as well these fields behind me, they're not mine. Um, I asked this farmer for his permission and he uh, he said no, um, he inherited the farm from his dad and his dad would never allow it. So uh, I'm out of luck, but uh, oh, that sunset. I don't know if you, you're not going to make it out properly on this forward-facing camera, but I'll do a long shot and uh, post it up somewhere. Anyway, take care of yourselves, especially if you're out there digging in this. Make sure you take plenty of water with you and a hat if you've got a big bald head like mine. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.